is a life I lead in this city We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this camp <laughs> This is Andy's beautiful sister Hi guys <laughs> Wow, I've been with her for 30 seconds 30 seconds And you can already tell she and loves me so much. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. We are doing shopping as if Andy is the rich aunt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi guys. Welcome to a new vlog. I, I landed in Durban this morning and I got my car and I just drove. I'm at Midlands Mall right now. The sister has come to meet me. Oh, you're showing us your hair. It actually looks very nice. <laughs> the sister has met me and she's already gotten a head start on groceries for the parents. So, okay, let's shop. We could take things slow. Say you think about it too. When the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be with. That I should be with. Had to get Krispy Kreme. I can't be the only one who gets the largest size of toilet paper when you visit your parents. There's some veggies here, maize meal, and then a few things. The rest of the stuff is mostly meat that's already in the deep freeze, but oh, I can't believe how cheap fruit is here. Yeah, like, look at this. This was five rand. Five rand for these. The grapes were 15 rand. Grapes are currently like 49 Rand in Johannesburg. Same with these, I think these are 36 Rand and they were 15 Rand. Were they 20 Rand or 15 Rand? 20. The peaches were 20 Rand. Strawberries were 15 Rand. Cherries were 15. This is like 50 bucks in Joburg and it's 15 Rand here. So, had to get some. And I got like fake little Cocoa Pops for cheap. It was cool. Like a bunch of little goodies and cleaning stuff. I also got these biscuits. These are very, very good. They're like butter biscuits. Some rotis as well. Good stuff. I left the grocery haul for today. <laughs> Ciao. And I bought bedding for my parents. So. My goodness. Yeah. Beautiful bedding. Beautiful bedding. And we got Nando's yeah. for dinner. Two. And Krispy Kreme that my sister is currently. Three. I'm taking four. When I can be left with five. Okay, that's fine. I've already had two of them. <laughs> The mall was crazy busy yesterday. It's not even Black Friday yet, but it was madness. So that's why I didn't really vlog very much, but we did the shopping. I think I showed you guys the haul. We went to this grocery store called Save or Hyper Save or something like that. It's in Peter Marisburg, I think on Victoria Road. I remember doing the monthly grocery shopping at that store in my childhood, but I haven't been there in years and it just blew my mind how good their prices are because you guys know I love a good deal. Got home around 7 because I had to drive extra slow because of the potholes I was trying to avoid. They gave me a Honda WRV. I've never even heard of that car before but it's quite nice. It's very spacious in the cabin. The boot is quite small but the like seating space is really nice and it's not super powerful and you kind of need a more powerful car when you're driving to Underberg because there's so many like uphill and windy parts of the road but yeah I did not want to damage the tires by driving the car into any potholes so I had to drive extra slow got home around seven hung out with my parents 
yeah it was kind of an early night because i was honestly exhausted just woke up made myself a cup of coffee i want to go into town today and grab a couple of extra things that i didn't get yesterday and i also want to see the progress on one of my dad's projects which megan's dad is building for him actually it's pretty cool they've worked together and been friends probably for as long as megan and i have been alive and hopefully i'll also get to have lunch with megan today we'll see though those are the tentative plans so far So I actually spent the morning running errands with my mom, taking her around town and doing all of the mommy dearest things. And then we came home, hung out for a little bit. And now I'm heading back into town. It's two o'clock, just about. And I'm heading over to Megan's place to go out for lunch with her and catch up. Hopefully I'll actually be able to see my niece tonight as well, because I think my sister is supposed to come around. So that'll be fun. <laughs> some traffic for 30 minutes of non-stop music and we'll uh, wish them a happy birthday. Have you decided what your career goals for 2023 will be? The DUT Business School can help you get there. Up oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> Before my battery runs out, that's where we are. We're having very good food. Chai, homemade lemonade. That was convincing. <laughs> forgot what it was for a second. <laughs> but this place is so quaint and cozy and beautiful and apparently the food's really good so I'm gonna save my battery so I can get pictures some of pictures food. of that. So bye. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. So oh fun. these are beautiful. Okay. <gasps> oh look at that with the chili flakes. Beautiful Megan. Beautiful. What are we trying first? Can I try oh. this first? Oh yeah, try that. I'm gonna try one of these babies. <laughs> The way I love food. These are pork wonton thingies in deliciousness, in, in warm deliciousness. See, we've got some hidden gems in our little. Do you remember standing here when she was just born, when she was a baby? And I took a video here. Do you remember? I took a video here mm -hmm. and she was this big. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Okay, bye bye. Liana saying bye bye. Bye guys. We look the same. I'm joking with me and my sister, not this idiot. <laughs> not you. Not this alien. Not this alien. <laughs> There's one.
It's 8.30 in the morning, today's Wednesday guys. My sister slept over with my niece, so I gave them my room, I'm in the other room. Having a cup of coffee, a beautiful, very welcome and very much needed cup of coffee. I've been exhausted every night that I've been back in South Africa, honestly. I think it's just because everything is so go, 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 and I'm so like tired by the end of the day that it's just like, Blech. But yesterday was an awesome day. Got to stop by my dad's project and see it. It's a construction project. And then I got to have lunch with Megan. It was beautiful. It was a lovely catch up session. I got to see her new place that she and her boyfriend moved into. It is so cozy and beautiful. It has a fireplace. It is so underberg. I just love it so much and I'm so jealous. The food at the Stone House kitchen is like no other. So good. I tried to, I don't know why I keep leaving my camera at home. So obviously the footage I got was, was not amazing, but I'm sure you guys can still see in the pictures and in the videos just how good that food was. And it's funny because that place has existed for many, many years and I have lived most of my life in Underberg. So I don't understand how I've never been there. It's one of Megan's favorite places. So of course we had to give it a try yesterday and I love it. And now every time I come to Underberg, I'm going to have to go there and have something to eat. Like a proper cook cozy village cottage vibe the best it's my last day here my dad is busy with the cows outside and the rest of us are chilling i can't believe my niece is walking it's crazy she's very very naughty she has to be watched every second of every day i get a heart attack every time she reaches for a knife <laughs> because it has happened so many times barely vlogged today sorry guys been hanging out. We're making dinner. We just went to Underberg though and we went to one of the stores here. What's it called? Clothing, Clothing Junction. Clothing Junction. It's very, very cheap clothes and they were having a Black Friday sale. So we're gonna have to show you guys a clothing haul. Okay, my sister wanted to try her stuff on, so I'll quickly show you guys. Oh, it's so cool. So cool. Clothing haul. Forty rand. Forty rand for this dress. Look at that. It's cute. Yeah. That's my sister's first dress. It's a cute little white dress. She got it for 40 bucks, man. Dress number two. Cute. No. Oh, two. How much was this one? 150. It's cute. It's got the little sleeves, the little poofy sleeves. Right, son. The clever. It's got a little tie detail. Got that. It's not a wrap dress. It's cute. It's a cute bodysuit. And you've got two of them, so one for me, one for her, and this cute skirt. The top is 40 rand and 129 for the skirt. Cute little flirty summer skirt. Yes. Uh, most of what I got was what I could wear in Sudan. I honestly picked cheap things so that I could wear them in Sudan. So I got these three t-shirts, which these I'm not going to try on. They're literally just plain t-shirts. I got all three of them in medium and it was three for 100 rand. So I got this sage green color, navy blue, and like this dark forest green color. My sister also got me one of these beige tan bodysuits, which is really nice. I'll probably only wear this when I'm back in South Africa, because in Sudan I can't really walk around with my shoulders showing. But it does fit me really nicely. It's a cute little bodysuit. I tried it on first with the pants which I got these pants in an extra large. They're a bit long for me, but they're just these wide leg, brown floral pants. I can just wear these with like a t-shirt in Sudan and it should be fine. I also have this white skirt, which is pretty cute. It's got this like yellow and green floral print on it and it's cute. It does have a slit here. I'm not too sure if I'll wear this in Sudan. If I do, I will honestly probably sew the slit together just so it's a little bit more respectful, you know? But I think that these are cute little affordable pieces that I can wear and be comfortable in, but also still cute when I'm in Sudan. If this doesn't say I'm back in the village, I don't know what does. My sister made us some beef stew. I got some jekle dough from the spa when we went earlier and I just cooked it up at home. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is the ultimate comfort meal. 
and I'm just having it with some apple cool drink. Actually, this is apple Fanta, which I've never had before, but it's pretty good. My flight isn't until 6 p.m. tomorrow, but I want to get out of here around 6 a.m. just because there's a lot of construction and traffic on the roads between here and Peter Marisburg and also between Peter Marisburg and the airport. So I want to try to get out of here early because I need to stop over in Peter Marisburg to pick up one thing. And then I also want to stop over at Keegan's mom's house to just say hello to her because I haven't really gotten to see her this year and she was actually in Joburg for a couple of months before I came back last week and she will be back in Joburg over the Christmas period as well and I won't be there so and then yeah fly back to Joburg in the evening but I actually came on here so that I could chat to you guys quickly about vlogmas basically I have decided that I'm going to do vlogmas this year however it's going to look a little bit different I plan on vlogging only when it is the weekdays so Monday to Fridays you will get uploads from me but over the weekend I really need a break you guys have seen the last couple of years the last three years probably I've done vlogmas religiously every single day apart from like one or two days here or there when circumstances just didn't allow me to upload this year I'm just choosing to give myself the weekends I know that this year on the 1st and the 2nd of December that's going to be a Thursday and Friday and I am going to upload on those two days however those two vlogs will most probably be pre-recorded just because on the 30th of November Keegan and I are going away and we only get back on the 2nd so I really don't want to be interrupting our very limited time together by having to edit and upload a vlog or worry about anything like that i know that you guys obviously understand all of this but i just wanted to kind of give you like a background and let you know what my thought process is so chances are the two videos i'll upload on the first and second of december will be pre-recorded ones and then over the weekend i'll give myself a break and i will most probably upload our trip on the Monday, the following Monday. I don't know what day that is. One, two, three, four, on the fifth. <laughs> so yeah, those are my current tentative plans. The Wi-Fi situation in Sudan is also really, really slow. So please forgive me. My vlogs will not be up at my normal 5 a.m. South Africa time um, schedule. They'll just be up at some point during the day whenever I can get them up. So that is pretty much the gist of what's going to happen. I know that this is the last vlog you guys are going to see before Vlogmas so I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up on what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out. I don't want it to be too long but I really appreciate you spending the last few minutes on my corner of the internet. It means the world to me. I guess I'll see you guys at the start of Vlogmas next. I hope you have a fantastic time until then. Please continue spreading good vibes and being kind and I will see you all literally in the next couple of days so goodbye for now mm -hmm.